Hello everybody, it's Friday and I'm going to give you a big break for the weekend so this is your last little dose of me this week and because we've been juggling probably for a lot of us working from home with dogs, children, homeschooling, trying not to get corona, worrying about family members we can't get to and if they're going to get corona or people in hospital we can't get to, all of these things and in life the first place that stress shows is on our faces but when it starts to get really into you, the shoulders, you see people, their shoulders are six foot high above their heads. They're a bit stressed out. So what we're going to do, because people are very stressed at the moment, and I'm a bit worried that there's either going to be a massive, like a divorce peak, or if we're lucky, a gigantic baby boom. So we want to go for the love. So we're, oh, sorry. So we're going to get the oxytocin going, love and nurture and this is how we're going to do it and we're going to release the stress and tension from the shoulders so you basically cup your hands over the shoulders and as you can see you can do it through clothing you can do it at what's called a dry massage as I've said before where you don't have anything at all on your hands so if you've got a child or you, you yourself are very sensitive to smells don't worry about that just do it dry massage um, I usually do it through hand cream when it's on the day and always through clothing with a child, always. Um, but if it's an adult who's come to see me, I will use oil and, and it will be skin on skin if they want it. So you can adapt this, you can adapt this. And I showed you yesterday some techniques on the shoulders that you can self-administer. It's a little bit to self-administer these ones, yeah but I'll give you some more tips about that next week. So oxytocin, here we come. So you cup your hands over the shoulders. By the time you've counted to 40, because this in itself is very, very grounding. Shoulders, shoulders are where we carry our load, but it's also extremely grounding. When I've worked with um, autistic people who really are touch averse almost, very, very often, once I've earned their trust, put them in control of it, they will let me touch their shoulders. So it's very much about trust and grounding. I've got you, that's the message. I've got you, I'm sharing your load. But, the other magical thing is, but it can be qu neurologically quantified. I sounded really clever, but it can be. By the time you count to 40, oxytocin is flooding through my lovely son Charles. This is my youngest son Charles. My oldest one has escaped me today. So we've got Charles, so handy. Thank you so much, Charles, for lending me your shoulders. Okay. So Charles is gonna have a lovely shoulder massage. And I'm just gonna show you three very simple things. They're so, so easy. You can do these. You can do these family and friends who you're isolated with. Obviously don't go and rush up to someone in a shop with social distancing and start doing it if their shoulders are like this and they look a bit tense. It's just for you at home. So you cup your hands over the shoulders and then what you're going to do is roll the skin from behind that shoulder bone and over like a wave crashing onto a beach. That's how I imagine it because I'm very visual. So you're making little flesh waves over, crashing over the rocks, if you imagine that, that you can ask them to, to imagine the sea. It could be something else. If it's a child, it could be a, it could be a wonderful fairground ride. You know, you can make it fun. Make it into a story, keep them in the chair. Or if you can imagine great big waves crashing in. If you're in luck, you might get a sexy surfer on it. So then we're going to do the same again, but in reverse. So it's this motion, you're going back like this. You're pulling the skin over the shoulder and back into the heel of your hand. So it's that movement, like that. A little bit like, in the early 80s, I had this little chopper bike. Do you remember those? Some of you might not. Anyway, it was sky blue and yellow. And when you needed to stop, you had to pull the handbrakes like that on it. So when I do this one, I always imagine that, you know, I'm little again and whizzing about on my little chopper. Anyway, you're rolling. These are the waves going back. Or it could be you on your little chopper bike putting the brakes on and you're always you'll notice I'm always working from either side of the neck where the vagus nerve goes down keeping blood pressure nice and even heart rate nice and steady 
Also dopamine, my favorite hormone. Motivation, pleasure, joy. So you just keep doing that for as long as you want. There's no time limit on any of this. And then to finish, shoulder squeezes. And this is delicious. This is like helping someone on or off with their coat. You're pulling the skin like this. Well, not pulling it. You know what I mean. Gently squeeze and lift. Squeeze and lift. That's what you need to remember. Squeeze and lift. If you were in luck with your surfer, you might well be helping him on or off with his wetsuit. Make it fun. Have fun with all these things I show you. We need some humour. We need some laughter, because if we laugh, there's serotonin, just like that, without even touching anyone. And then, actually, I'll show you a fourth one. This is lovely, this one. It's called ironing down. It's the only ironing I like. Palms of the hands. And this is, a this is gorgeous, particularly for the autistic people who don't know where their skin ends and outside begins, you know? This is a beautiful one. And it's like releasing all that lovely tension. 